All right, guys, welcome back to part two. Part two, 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 two of my video. Um, and this is going to be on how to edit your settings on your Xbox One. Now, this also works for your PlayStation. You just have to finagle a little bit of um, um, go into your internet settings. Just follow along. It's going to be there, but you're going to have to do a little bit more. The Xbox One is definitely easier. So, first off, you're going to want to go over to your settings. I'm already there, but you're going to start here usually. You're only going to go down to network settings. Go over here and click OK. Click the A button. All right. Now, you see right there where mine says NAT type open. See? That's sweet. Um, so, first, you're going to want to go to advanced settings. And you're going to want to go down to DNS settings. You're going to want to go to manual. And there it is. You're going to want to put that in 8.8.8.8. .8 so you want to go 8, right bumper, 8, right bumper, 8, etc., etc. So let me give you a little backstory on what, the, what we're doing right here. What we're doing is the DNS server, what it basically does is whenever you call a page or whenever you go anywhere, it's pinging off your internet service provider servers So and other servers. So what we want to do is the 8888 is actually Google servers. What we're going to do is ping it off Google stuff. Google's a phenomenal uh, server. Um, well, they have phenomenal servers. And this is what I found uh, most helpful. It's awesome. Um, so that, that being said, go ahead and hit start when you're done with that. Now the next, the secondary DNS is going to be 8.844. Okay. 8844. You have to have both and hit start all right so next thing we're gonna go to is IP settings and you're gonna want to go to manual and then you're gonna want to put in your IP settings now let me go back cuz I don't want to really edit mine cuz mine's all right here um, if you can see this is exactly what you're about to put so the thing about all this stuff is the very first video showed us um, how to actually let me go back let me pop that up there we go. <laughs> okay, see, the first video showed us the default gateway, okay? So, and that right there is called your gateway on the Xbox One. So, your IP address is going to be your static IP address. So, basically, it has to be within the number range. So, if your default gateway is 192.168.0.1, your IP address, you want to make it 192.168.0. Um, something higher than 10, usually. Um, dot six nine one six nine. I love six, the number six nine. Um, so that's normally what I do. You just want it out of. I just make it just something away from all the lower ones because by default, whenever you fire up a device, it's going to usually start at number two. Um, so one nine two one six eight dot two dot three dot four dot five. You know, the more devices connect to your router, that's it's going to take the, the default path. Um, your subnet mask mask is always usually always the two five five. Um, your gateway is that first IP address from the default gateway um, that we are just talking about. Let me go back over there. There we go. Um, sorry, that's what I was talking about. That's a subnet mask. I'm sorry. My apologies. Um, there we go. Yeah. Um, and then your primary DNS, that of course we just changed. So basically, you're just going to make it. What you're doing right now is you're creating a static IP address. What that's for is just to tell your router. This is for step three, video three. Um, you're just going to go into your router and actually going to tell it to, hey, look at this device. Like, hey, this device is called, like my device, my Xbox is called 169. So my router isn't like, oh, what is the Xbox? My router says, what is what do you want me to have 169 do? And in my third video, I want my 169 to sit outside the DMZ. The DMZ, is when you put something outside the DMZ, you set something outside your firewall's router. So your computer, you do not want to sit outside the DMZ because it can get hacked. There's not many people. I've never seen anyone hack the, the console yet. Um, so therefore, that's what I do. I set it outside the DMZ. Um, like my brother's situation, he has two Xbox Ones. So he has one set outside the DMZ and one with port forwarding. That way, both of his Xboxes can be on open uh, NAT types. All right. So after you get all that done, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hard reset your Xbox One. You're going to want to press the power button um, for down for 10 seconds um, or until it goes off. So just hold down the power button on your Xbox One until it powers off. Okay? And then we need to go to step three. So let's go to step three. Let's go. Let's go. 